Hey everyone, Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina here. Right now, I am at the Tundra Drive event. This is exciting, San Antonio. We're at the Preserve at Canyon Lake. I'm gonna show you my driving impressions. Let's walk around this 22 double cab Tundra Limited Supersonic Red. I'll show you the inside, the outside, then driving impressions. So we're gonna walk around. We got it idling right now. You can see the front. Interesting design. It seems a little bit toned down compared to other trim levels as far as the front grille. It's got parking sensors. It's got LED fog lights, headlights, tail lights it'll have. What do you think of that red color? I like the gray over fenders. It's got chrome decked out because it's limited. It's prestige. All right, now let's take a look. Oh, how about that? Then we've got a composite bed here. Aluminum reinforced. This one has AC power to the back. It's got a deck rail system and you can see the bed lights as well camera system so you can see your bed view got tow hookups parking sensors as well in the interior this video is about driving impressions I've got the seats all the way back for a specific reason but let's just take a look at the interior pretty quickly again the seats are all the way back we'll look So first things first, this car has a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine. It produces 389 horsepower and 479 foot pounds of torque, pound feet of torque, right? It's matched with a 10 speed automatic transmission. This is really cool. The two wheel drive is going to average 20 miles a gallon. The four wheel drive is going to average 19 miles a gallon. My impressions, the seat's very comfortable. It kind of wraps around, supports, has lumbar support. Trying to see what else it has here. I like the visibility in this double cab. Nice big window, nice convex window. Big, tall glass on the sides. I don't see a lot of blind spots. And my feeling is, is if you have no backseat passengers, you can just take off the headrest. I'm just transfixed right here by this 14 inch Toyota Audio Multimedia System. So intuitive with state of the art voice recognition. Cool stuff. It just switched to nighttime mode because I'm under this bridge or underpass. Overpass? Real quiet, but let's see what it's like when we accelerate. It's telling me right here on my multi-information display, tells me navigation coordinates, but I can also see them right here, folks. This is taking me to Canyon Lake, the preserve at Canyon Lake. We're gonna really see what this is all about. Today's gonna be filled with lots of off-road driving, road course driving, street driving towing all right here we go my first acceleration what what <laughs> oh, woo! that's freaking cool Tell you what, this has got some chops to it. This 
just check out the general ride because remember this has a front double wishbone suspension and the new multi-link rear suspension coil springs going on Ooh, big visor I like that it's soft very light all right so I'm gonna go eight miles on this road here do have on this limited power folding mirrors it's real quiet you don't hear the engine all that much at all now just a little bit of wind noise coming from the mirrors just general observation certainly isn't distracting or annoying by any means let's just see how this accelerates when you're already at cruising speed. I'll catch up to the truck in front of me. Wow. It flies. It flies. I don't even want to tell you what my speed was just then. Okay, here's another thing. With this suspension, it's very soft, very forgiving. This road clearly has some highway almost like waves in a boat, right? But it's smooth and it handles it like it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it handles it like it's gliding. It feels like it's gliding on the road. See, I, and this, this goes out to all the people who are worried that Toyota sacrificing the V8 engine in favor of twin turbocharged engine, the 3.5 liter, they're worried that's going to take away their power. It's worried that you're going to take away that, that growl of the exhaust. Well, I haven't heard the exhaust yet. But I'll tell you, the power is absolutely there. There's no comparison between generations. It's really impressive. Boy, in this seat, I just feel like I'm sitting down in it. I'm sure I can adjust it. Boy, does it feel good. Look at this tall headspace here. I suppose I could take it down, could take it up. The lumbar support, it makes adjustments on the fly really quickly. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Now this right here is one of two different options for your information display. You can have a large 12.3 inch driver display which is state of the art of course this one right here has I believe it's a 4.2 inch multi-information display surrounded by gauge clusters it's kind of a combination of modern with traditional in a way now here this will take a little getting used to all of the buttons and the controls and the dials See if we can give it a command here. Hey Toyota. What can I do for you? What's the weather like? It is mostly cloudy in San Antonio, Texas, and it feels like 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very cool. Hi Toyota. How can I help you? Tune to Sirius XM 80s on 8. So let's talk about my impressions of this headrest. It doesn't swing forward like one of those forward facing whiplash reducing ones. I'm sure it has the safety bolstering, but it's kind of squared off here. It's rounded, but squared. It's actually really comfortable and it doesn't make my neck feel at an awkward angle or anything like that at all. It's very comfortable. I suppose I could always put my seat back just a little bit too. The seat works really quickly. Now look at this room in this vehicle. What do you think of this black seating with the pattern right here? It's really cool. I feel like it's easy to access. 
if I want to get to the touch screen I can do that but you can see the voice commands do a lot of things for me where normally in the past I would have to reach for buttons or controls or dials this thing it's reducing distractions and that's one thing I'm big on is reducing distractions there are three different drive modes I can choose between normal eco and sport sports gonna give me more responsive acceleration it probably might be ideal for going up a hill for pulling out into traffic getting onto a highway if you need that quick jump start now eco is gonna be better for better gas mileage and all of us full-size truck fans know that gas mileage a lot of times is critical and you're fighting for every little drop you can get with eco mode now you have the opportunity to let the car do that for you and normal is just going to be normal driving so let's switch it into I'm in eco mode right now typically it's going to take a little bit off the HVAC system and a little bit off the throttle response good let's put it into sport mode kind of tight traffic so it's kind of hard to do sport mode however woo, you hear it it's a little bit louder another interesting fact about 22 Tundra the limited is that TRD Pro is actually based on the limited trim level so that means that when you see a TRD Pro it's gonna have a lot of luxury features upscale high-end features that you'll see on a limited just with that pro flair to it you're gonna see that techno camo you'll probably see the cockpit red interior if you choose that one so lots of things make that unique but remember it's more luxury now so it's not just for the high performance and the trails and the off-roading although it does come with locking rear diff Crawl control and multi-terrain select. We'll be showing you that in a different video for sure. One of my favorite Toyota features is the digital rear view mirror. See here, this is a traditional mirror. You see the headrest. You see the three panes of glass, right? So let's just flip the switch. Now we have a clear unobstructed view right here. And we can see everything. We see wide. And you can adjust it up and down, sideways, brightness, rotation. That is really cool, and I'm thrilled that it's on the limited. All right, try to beep the horn. Did you hear that? So again, we've got nice big glass in the front. Big side windows here. Hey, look here, look at those lights. It's cool, it's got LED tail lights. Ooh, we got a couple in front of us. Mm, now we got a smoked mesquite color to the side, supersonic red to the front. Hala. See how it goes up a hill. Yeah. Yee, doggy. Woo! <laughs> I think we got three tundras in front of us. Smoked mesquite, smoked mesquite, supersonic red in the house. Oh, I wonder if I could pull up next to it. That would be cool, dude. All right, here we go. I think I get to get next to this truck. Boy, that's beautiful. 1794 edition. It has either beige or it has the brown interior. Let's take a look at the instrument layout here. We've got the 14 inch screen. Nice big controls here. We've got digital dual temperature controls. And then down here we've got trailering, hazard. 
the bird's eye view camera. And then this one also has the air suspension too. I can tell because it's got manual mode and automatic mode. Again, some of these materials are not finished. They're prototypes, so this is what it will look like. The materials might be more durable, softer, they could change. And how are we doing for fuel economy? Well, I'm averaging 19.2, and I feel like I've done some pretty spirited driving here. I've certainly not been soft on the fuel pedal. So 19.2, remember this one averages for two wheel drive, it averages 20 MPG combined, and it averages 19 combined for the four wheel drive. So for me, my impressions, it's smooth, it's quick, even for the base engine, it's deceptively quick. That's impressive. And to me, it's easy if I'm not using voice commands, well, I can tweak my temperature just like this. I can tweak my air up for fan speed, down for less fan speed, right? Handles around curves, tight, it's precise. And it does it, again, I hate to use the word smooth, but it's smooth. This is a different drive. It's a completely evolved drive from second generation. Mm. And yes, if I wanna use heated seats, I can do that. If I wanna use cooled seats, I can do that. If I wanna change the radio, I can do that. doing a turn here. Yeah, it's just so smooth. And you know what? It doesn't take that much steering. I love this. It says entering a school zone. Be prepared to slow down. Averaging 47 miles an hour, 297 miles to go. I'm averaging 19.5. My previous best, I guess that was the last person who did it, 14.7. Let's clear the data. This will be fun. I just want to see how I'm doing for fuel economy 14.7 see if we can really get it to jump 27.0 come on Jeff let it roll come on baby just a little bit more 40.3 baby let's speed up only to speed down 21.7, 1.217 gigawatts, what? I just wanna see if I can jump the gas mileage a little bit. Come on, come on, Bessie. See how it does, a little off the road now. Yeah, I'm giving it a little mustard. A little hot sauce. How does it do on bumps? Just fine, I say. Darn, we hit pavement. That was fun. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment to say hi. Let me know what you think of Tundra, the drive, what your impressions were. You're gonna be seeing quite a few videos from me over the next couple days talking about Tundra impressions 
features. There's so much to talk about. Oh, surprises. All right, thanks everybody so much. If you haven't already hit subscribe, you're in for a ride. See you next time.